In today's video, I'm going to show you how I build a super lightweight, mobile, and fast one stick. So stay tuned. Before we press on with today's build, don't forget to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out a lot. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be using a, I think it's a 320-pound rated cam cleat. I have two just gear ties. I'm using two grade 8 bolts with lock nuts on them. I'm going to be using about a six and a half foot piece of amp steel. We're also going to need some kind of aider, um, whether it's amp steel, uh, tubular webbing, rope like this one I made. If you're interested in seeing how I made this one, this is adjustable. Um, on YouTube, I'll leave a link up top. I also have a piece of three-quarter inch steel tubing. I have a piece of half inch by one inch C channel. And, and a piece of three-quarter inch by three-sixteenths inch thick piece of flat stock steel. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of three-quarter inch steel tubing and I'm, I'm going to cut it down to a foot. I'll go get this cut and I'll get back to you. All right, so I got my piece of three quarter inch cut down to a foot. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on my standoffs. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use five pieces of the three quarter inch. I'm gonna start off with one piece at one inch. I'm gonna cut two pieces at two inch and two pieces at three inch. Then I'm gonna take the one inch piece. I'm gonna weld the two two inch pieces to it at a 75 degree angle. I'm then going to come and I'm going to place the three inch pieces on the outside and weld those all together. And so I'm going to get that welded up and then I'll be back. Okay, so I had the brackets all built and all I did was I took the one inch piece and I welded that to the, the two two inch pieces at a 75 degree offset and then I came back and I welded my three inch piece to the top. And that's going to stiffen this all up and make it a lot stronger. But it's also going to give me a nice long standoff. So that, I, I actually have both of my standoffs built. And the next thing that I'm going to work on is my step itself. I'm going to take my small piece of C-channel, that tip. I'm going to lay it right in the center of that 8-inch step. And I'm going to weld it right along the sides and the back side as well. Okay, so I have my step done. I went ahead and I welded that piece of C-channel onto the back, and then I also drilled three holes in it. This one will be for our bolt that connects it to the actual tube itself, and then these two will be for the face plate, pretty much, that attaches to the front of it. If you've seen my um, DIY climbing sticks video, then you seen the way that I did this before. So so what I've been doing, because I haven't came up with a better uh, solution yet, is I basically take a 3D printed part and I attach it to the front of the step like that. And it gives me traction and it also gives me a little more space so that I'm not trying to stand on that thin piece. And so, and the way I attach these is I use these T-hole brads, I believe they're called. And so, this is just basically a giant washer that accepts a bolt. And so I drill three, two holes on the side. I'm going to push that brad now through. And then I'm going to take my step. And I'm going to take my step. And I'm going to push it through like that. And then I'm going to come on the other side with a bolt. And I'll tighten that down. And I'll do the same thing for the other side. I have another. And so that's how I've been doing my steps. Now that we got the steps done and we have the brackets done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drill my holes for my post. And I'll bring you guys back for assembly. Okay, so we're back at the table. We have all of our parts and pieces that we need. 
The first thing I think I'm going to do is get one of the steps and the standoff on. So I'm going to start off with taking one of my steps, laying it on my pipe, and putting a grade 8 bolt through. I will then take the standoff, that on, and then put my lock nut, my lock nut on. The next thing I'm going to do is figure out how I want this cam pleat to go on. And what I mean by that is I could either throw the rope around with my right hand and catch it and bring it across this way to lock the cam. Or I can throw it around with my left and grab it and attach it with my right hand by flipping this and spinning it. So... I think I'm gonna stick with my left hand to attach it. I'm gonna throw it with my right, I'm gonna catch it with my left, and I'm gonna bring it in and lock it up. I'm going to back that up with a washer, a lock washer, and then a lock nut. The key to these cam cleats is to not go too tight. You want to snug them in place. If you go too tight, then what happens is it puts pressure on this and it locks up. It doesn't. See how it's not snapping? It's because I have it too tight. Back this off just a touch. You'll see that thing drop. Now, it's perfect. So I have my steps on, I have my cleats on, and I have my cam cleat on. Next thing I'm going to do is attach my rope. I'm just going to come back a little ways with a piece of, this is just a piece of coat hanger that I folded over. Just going to come up a little ways. So I can grab a bite. Take this guy and pull it down. Alright. I'll get it. Then I just take it and I milk it back on itself so it just kind of captures that and that shouldn't come off that's like that's on there nice and tight but what that does is two things it gives me a little bit of weight to whip around and then when I'm done wrapping up my stick I can just throw it on something so I guess I'll throw this on now this is just a gear tie I'm gonna take this and throw this on now and throw my aid or one So a good amount of time has actually passed since I um, built this, since I made this video, um, getting to this pretty late. And I've actually been using this a lot for uh, scouting, setting up trail cams and stuff like that. For those trips where you're doing a lot of walking, maybe you're doing a lot of scouting, this thing has been just amazing. Um, it, it weighs about one pound. I think it's a little over one pound. Um, but it's compact, it fits, I can throw it in any one of my bags and I can just take off and I just, it's not, it's like it's not even there.
Thank you to everyone watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.